Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Penguin Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for February 2023. Been wanting to update the Penguin deck. I honestly forgot that we got Penguin Sword all the way back in Brothers of Legend, and I just never actually did an update to the Penguin deck. It's a fun deck that focuses on flip summoning all your many different Penguin monsters, even having a synchro variant in the form of Penguin Brave. And there are a lot of ways to mix and match all the different Penguin monsters we have for the deck to use in this deck but I'm very happy with the changes made along with the additional support we have like I said from Brothers of Legend to use in the deck so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we will go ahead and start off with the main deck penguins. We are running three copies of the Great Emperor Penguin. You can tribute this card to special summon up to two penguin monsters from your deck, except for the Great Emperor Penguin. It's not a once per turn, so if you are able to get multiple Great Emperor Penguins, you can just swarm the field with plenty of different penguin monsters on the field. So it's a definite three of just for that easy setup using this level five monster. Our next go-to penguin is Penguin Squire, one of the cards that you can see on the card art for Penguin Brave. There's still a bunch of other penguin monsters that we need to get from this card as well. Hopefully we will soon. But with this card, it cannot be used as synchro tier except for the synchro summon of a water monster. If a one monster is set on the field, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can reduce its level by one or two. You can target one face down defense position monster you control, change it to face up defense position. And if you do, its effects are negated unless it's a penguin monster. You can only use this effect of Penguin Squire once per turn. So what's really great about this card is that it just gives you setup for your other penguin cards on the field. Whether you want to flip up and utilize your puny penguin or even just return cards your opponent may have thanks to being able to use your penguin soul all this is easily done with just being able to set your monster and then special summon out your penguin squire and depending on what the level of that penguin monster is you can reduce the level of penguin squire to then use that monster to additionally go into penguin brave right then and there we are also running three copies of nightmare penguin when this card is flipped face up return one card on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand as long as this card remains face up on the field, increase the attack of all water monsters on your side of the field by 200 points. It's just another easy bounce, but unlike Penguin Soldier, you can bounce any card with Nightmare Penguin. So if there's a pesky face of card on your opponent's side of the field, you can use this card just to bounce it back, right back to the hand and give an additional boost to all the water monsters you run, which we are running a good majority of water monsters in the extra deck to begin with. For the last of the three ofs, we're also running three copies of Note Penguin. During either player's turn, when an effect of a penguin monster is activated, special summon this card from your graveyard. You can only use this effect of Note Penguin once per turn. If a card would be returned from the field of the hand by the effect of a penguin card, banish it instead. So just having Note Penguin and then your you know, bounce resource whether it be your Nightmare Penguin or your Penguin Soldier, just turns the bounce power of returning those cards to your opponent's hand into a banish. So you're getting rid of that resource that much more easily against your opponent. So three Note Penguin not only gives you a special summon from the graveyard with this card onto the field as another resource, let's say it's one you used with your other card, or just being able to make it so that you can make any card your opponent has returned to their hand a banish instead. For some of the lower numbers for the Penguin, Penguin cards, also running two copies of Penguin Ninja. When it's flipped, you can target up to two spiral traps your opponent controls and return them to the hand. So once again, with no Penguin, imagine just banishing those two spell and traps instead. And you can target one Penguin monster you control, change it to face down defense position. You can only use this effect of Penguin Ninja once per turn. So Penguin Ninja is more of your setup card, being able to just set up those Penguins again once they're on the field, face down, just a monster Book of Moon, I would say. And also two copies of Penguin Soldier. When it's flipped, you can target up to two monsters on the field, return those targets to the hand. So once again, take your Note Penguin into consideration, and you can just banish two monsters your opponent controls with this card on the field. I am also running two copies of Penguin Tornado. With this card, this card can attack directly. When it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one level six or lower monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase, but its effects are negated. Also, it cannot declare an attack, and while you control it, you can only use this effect of Penguin Torpedo once per turn. At the end of damage step, this card attacks, destroy this card. So it's just a way to, once again, get a resource by your opponent, and then you can use it for one of your extra deck plays. And also, just being able to attack directly, it can get rid of some of those resources. It has to be a level six or lower monster your opponent controls, so I was considering Considering dropping this card down to one just because it's a little more situational depending on what you want to use it for.
And I also run two copies of Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. It is another tuner. That's one of the main reasons I like it. If it's special summon, you can target one monster your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or a card effect, you can target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And then also, you can only use this effect of Glacial Beast Polar Penguin once per turn, and only once that turn. So we do run cards like Surface and Monster Reborn, just as another easy way to special summon this card. Or even if you were to just special summon your Glacial Beast Polar Polar Penguin off of cards like the Great Emperor Penguin, you have a uh, return, or if you summon out your Note Penguin off of the Emperor Penguin as well, another way just to easily summon this card out on the field for you to use. And then lastly for the one ofs, one Penguin Cleric and one Puny Penguin. With Puny Penguin, when it's sent from the field to the graveyard after being flipped face up, target one Penguin monster in your graveyard except for Puny Penguin and special summon that target in face up attack position or face down defense position. More set up for your other penguins and with penguin cleric if a penguin monster is sent from your monster zone to the graveyard by opponent's card effect even during the damage step you can target one of them discard this card and special summon that monster in face down defense position you can only use this effect of penguin cleric once per turn and one new once per turn you can target one penguin monster you control gain 600 attack until the end of this turn and you gain 600 life points so just a life point gain but once again just another situational card why i'm only running one of it because you do have other cards to at least get it onto the field that much more quickly to use that is it for the main deck monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run three copies of Penguin Sword. Equip only to a Penguin Monster. It gains 800 attack. When the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can return one card your opponent controls to the hand. If a face-up card your opponent controls leaves the field by a Penguin card effect and returns it to the hand or banish, negate the activated effects and effects of card on the field with the original name until the end of this turn. And you can only use this effect of Penguin Sword once per turn. So until the end of the next turn can take away a big part of your opponent's plays if they're relying on some pretty important cards let's say fallen of albaz for example uh, going up against albaz with penguins definitely seems like a rough idea but if you have that banish option with cards like no penguin and then just having the return power of penguin sword along with some of your other cards not only will you get rid of a pesky resource but then your opponent won't be able to use it and also just with the added boost that penguin sword also adds 800 attack makes it so you have a pretty big boss monster potential with cards like Penguin Brave equipping on this sword to it. We're also running three of the continuous spell, the Royal Penguin's Garden. When it's activated, you can add one Penguin card from your deck to your hand, except for Royal Penguin's Garden. And once per turn during the main phase, you can decrease the level of one Penguin monster in your hand or face up on the field until the end of this turn, then discard one card. You can activate one Royal Penguin's Garden per turn. So just being able to decrease the level of Penguin monster in your hand means that you can turn the Great Emperor Penguin into a level four monster. And then from there, have the normal summon and tribute of this card to special summon two Penguin monsters from your deck, except for the Great Emperor Penguin. This is the search power and setup that you can utilize with those Penguin cards. You do have to discard a card, but I would say it's well worth it since you are going to plus two off of the Great Emperor Penguin. For more special summon power, we also run three copies of Water Hazard. If you control no monsters, you can special summon one level four lower water monster from your hand. Another great play, just being able to not even take up your normal summon with the Great Emperor Penguin, because you can reduce the level with your Royal Penguin's Guard, and then special summon onto the field with cards like Water Hazard, just having to control no monsters to activate this special summon. I also run three copies of Book of Moon, just as another resource to recycle your Penguin flip effects when you use them and then just use book of moon either to disrupt your opponent's own plays or to reset them all i thought of running the uh, other options for the book of series but decided to stick with book of moon just as an easier card to use one that doesn't plus your opponent off of draws or take a discard to use for the last of the spells i run two copies of surface and one copy of monster reborn for more special summon power especially with like i said your glacial beast special summon and then gaining a Additional bounce off of this card or you could even just go for the initial setup of any of your other penguin monsters on the field using any of these cards and then lastly for the traps just three copies of infinite impermanence the good amount of the monster and spell lineup was just meant to be used for the actual penguin plays so just an additional hand trap does come in handy with the column disruption and monster effect negation that infinite impermanence does provide 
Moving on now to the extra deck. I run two copies of Penguin Brave. Your opponent cannot target face down defense position monsters you control with card effects. You can only use each of the following effects of Penguin Brave once per turn. If it's Synchro Summon, you can special summon one Penguin Monster from your deck in face down defense position. And when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can flip one face down defense position water monster you control face up. So if you set up some of your other cards, you can either have a monster returner or a spell and trap uh, returner to the hand if you have no penguin on the field as well that can just be an additional banish that you can control thanks to your penguin brave if you equip your penguin sword onto it it's all the more powerhouse of a 3200 attack point penguin to go up against your opponent i also run one deep sea prima donna for more special summon and recycle of your banished cards one white aura dolphin another one to utilize with the banish to special summon back onto the field one white aura whale and one trishula to finish off the synchro monsters and then for the Link Monsters, I run one copy of Miss Starboy, one Marine Cess Coral Anemone, one Link Karibo with the Puny Penguin, one Nightmare Phoenix, and one Access Code Talker to finish off the rest of the Link Monsters that we run in the deck as well. And for the Xyz Monsters, I run one copy of Bahamut Shark. You don't use it often, but you do have the level reduction that you can use with your level 5 penguins. And then your Nightmare Penguins to overlay into this card and then use it to get out totally awesome. And also one copy of Levier to recycle your Banish cards. And the one Zeus to overlay on top of the other Xyz Monsters that we run in the deck also. As for some of the go-to plays in the deck, once again, some of my favorites just revolve around the Royal Penguin's Garden. If you just have this card in your hand, you can activate it and activate it to add one Penguin card. From your deck to your hand, you can add the Great Emperor Penguin, and then from there, you can decrease the level one Penguin in your hand, and then discard one card. So whatever you discard, uh, regardless of what it is, can just be discarded to the Great Red. Let's just say it's Glacial Beast Polar Penguin, and then you can normal summon Summon out your Great Emperor Penguin. Using this card effect, you contribute it to Special Summon two Penguins from your deck. You can then Special Summon out your Note Penguin, and you already have the Glacial Beast Polar Penguin in your graveyard, so you could go for another one, or you could set up another different monster on the field as well. So with this card, you could go for the Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. When it's Special Summon, you can target monster your opponent controls return to the hand. Since you already have the Note Penguin on the field as well, you'll be able to ban that card your opponent had just being able to target a monster they have and then with that you can use both of the cards being one tuner and one non-tuner to synchro summon out your penguin brave onto the field and then with this card being able to protect your other cards if you already normal summon then this would be your biggest play if you were lucky enough to also have the penguin sword you can have that go for the option there and also if this card is synchro summon you can special summon one penguin monster from your deck in face down defense position so with that and the synchro play you can then set up your penguin soldier or penguin ninja on the field face down and then use the effect of your penguin brave to flip them up and from then and there have more additional plays or you could even set up another note penguin on the field and then be able to use the penguin sword for that bounce but it'll make it into a banish since you'll have note penguin on the field also if you have the royal penguin garden and then your water hazard you can use the same play but have have your Grand Emperor Penguin be a special summon, getting the exact same play and setup that you had with the Royal Penguin and your Note Penguin, but still having your normal summon to use. So you could use that normal summon to set an additional penguin. So on top of the Penguin Brave, you'll also have the potential flip that you can use the following turn with your Penguin Brave, having already flipped the Note Penguin up on this turn as well, to have an additional bounce two of your opponent's monsters, or if they're running more of a heavy back row deck with the Penguin Ninja. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's a really awesome deck. I love updating the penguins. It's a really fun one to use, so definitely consider giving it a try if you're looking for a very, very flip summon fun water deck. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.